Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I hope you stick around and subscribe down below and while you're at it, hit that little notification bell button so you guys get notified every single time I upload a video. And apparently I've been hearing around that YouTube is having a lot of trouble notifying people um, on like videos from their YouTubers. So I really highly suggest you guys pick out your favorite YouTubers and um, follow them on their social media so that when they announce that a new video is up, you guys can, you know, go check it out. But, you know, I'm just saying. I'm going to leave my social media up here. So if you guys want to go follow me on mine, then you guys can go right ahead. So you guys, I actually got a dog. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see him. He's she's right there she's right there and that's my daughter and that's my dog she's asleep right now so so yeah you guys if you guys see her like just walking around most likely you guys will that's her her name is Callie she is a yellow lab and she is the cutest thing ever I know if you guys do follow me on my social media you guys will see so much of her and my daughter because they are the cutest little pair all right guys so what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to pretty much rec try to recreate a look that I did I think it was last week I want to say it was last week um, I was actually just playing with my makeup and I had posted a picture on I think it was Snapchat. Usually Snapchat sees all of my looks that I end up doing um, before they even land on YouTube. So if you guys really want to go check me out, again, my social media is going to be right there. Um, I'm mostly active on Snapchat, but Instagram and Snapchat are like my top two. Uh, Twitter, I try to be on it. Like I'm always there, you know, liking other people's things, but I personally don't usually post anything on there but so i'm gonna be trying to recreate that look that i did it was like an orangey sunset type of look but i don't know i might add something else to it because i personally i thought it was just basic but so many people asked me to recreate it and make a video out of it because like i said i was just playing with my makeup so yeah you guys that's what i'm gonna be trying to do today so without further ado you guys let's get started all right you guys so i'm going to be taking the uh yes please palette and in my crease i'm going to be putting this shade and then i'm going to follow it up with this shade right here i'm going to be really building up the shade or those shades that i'm putting in my crease Okay, now I'm going to take my concealer. This is the concealer from Makeup Revolution. And I'm going to be cutting out my crease, but only half of it. Alright guys, now that I have pretty much cut my crease, um, I really don't want it, my makeup to be this harsh. So I am going to be blending out that concealer into my crease and on the outer parts with on my crease it's gonna be those two same shades that i had already used i'm just gonna be blending this in i just pretty much just want my lid to stay one color because the color the next colors that i'm gonna be putting on it i want them to really pop now for the outer outer part of now for the outer part of my crease i'm gonna be taking this shade and just blending that into the outer v Just blending in that concealer and that shade in together so I don't have a harsh line right there. Oh, Alright, so now for my eyelid shade, I am going to be taking... I'm going to be taking this shade right here and I'm going to be putting this shade on top of it. So with a flat shader brush, I'm just going to be packing it on. All 
All right, so here, what I'm pretty much gonna be doing, what I'm pretty much gonna be doing is I'm gonna be packing it on and then blending it, these edges, and then packing on again. That's how it's pretty much supposed to look. And I'm packing on a little more to get it really nice and very vibrant. And I'm not adding on any extra product to this brush. I'm just simply, just pretty lightly, just going over it. Guys, now I'm going to be putting in that golden shade. Okay, now I'm going to be putting in this shade right here with my finger. I would have put this shade, but it's a little too orangey for me for this look. So I'm just going to be packing it on with my finger. And I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about this particular shade, but it kind of like flakes off as you're putting it on that's why i like to use my finger to keep as much product as i can on there so this is what i left off with um when i had done when i did it last week but I don't know, I just got a white liner that I've been really wanting to try out with this look. So I'm going to try it out and see how it goes. But I am going to be doing it off camera because liner always takes me forever. But but I am going to be I'm going to be using the NYX white liner. So let's see how this goes and I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So I'm finally done. <laughs> it took me a while to get the liner right and I know it's still a little wonky but i do have a lot of trouble with eyeliner because my all right guys so i'm finally done and i know my eyeliner looks a little wonky but i do have so much trouble just because both of my eye shapes are not the same i have this one's more like almondy while this one is more open and out i don't know it's just it's a struggle every single time that's why i don't really do liner but I wanted to try out, and this one, and this eyeliner from NYX is not my favorite, actually, because if you guys can hear this chair, I'm so sorry, but it's, like, any little, tiny little movement I make, it, like, squeaks. But, um, this eyeliner from NYX, I kind of don't like it because it looks like it's cracking. I don't know, I'm not really into that, um... But we're going to keep going with it. Let's see how this look turns out at the end. All right, guys. So I'm going to be finishing up my face off camera just so that I, I can cut this video down a little bit more for you guys. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So now that I'm done with the rest of my face, I'm thinking I that I want to put another color on my lower lash line than what I did um, last week in my other video or in my other look um, I think I want to put like maybe a bluish color but I'm not really sure um, so I'm really feeling that I want to put a blue color under my eyes but I don't know yeah I think I'm gonna do it so I think I'm gonna be taking the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna be putting this uh, color right there it is Jada or yeah Jada no Jada I don't know that color though I'm gonna be just smudging it all over my lash line starting at the edge all right you guys so that is what I came out with I don't know I'm really digging it but we'll see uh <laughs> Um, so now I'm gonna be putting, um, so I did put, um, a black eyeliner on from, like, here to here, and then I put a white eyeliner in my inner corners from where the black starts and the other one, but I did, um, mix them in together in the middle so that it doesn't look like a harsh, harsh line. 
So that's what I ended up doing. Now I'm going to be taking my LA Girls blush and just glowing. And I'm going to be taking that onto my cheekbones. This is actually very pigmented. All right, and on top of the blush that I had just put on, I'm going to be putting in the blush and the highlight from the Knockout Palette from ColourPop. So I'm just going to be taking a tiny bit of that blush and popping it on. All right, and a tiny bit of that highlighter. Right, and on top of that highlighter, I'm going to be adding on the Emerizy highlighter just to tone it down a little bit. And for my inner corner and my brow bone highlight, I'm going to be taking uh, the very first shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette and in light. And honestly, you guys, this is my favorite inner corner highlight all right guys now to set my eyebrows I'm going to be using the make me brow by essence all right you guys so this is my finished look right here I don't know so I was trying to recreate uh, the look I did before, but I honestly love this look a hundred times better. I like it a lot. Actually, I'm really digging it. Um, so yeah, you guys. So I know you guys can see like my daughter and my dog playing. So oh my goodness. I have been wanting to make more colorful looks like this, but I honestly, I feel like I don't have um, like colorful palettes. I like have pops of color in like different palettes, but I honestly don't like using different palettes. I know I did in this look, but that's because I just really wanted to make it look like this. Um, but I have been like, I've been looking for palettes and honestly i think i'm gonna end up buying um the bh cosmetics take me back to brazil palette the second one because it's amazing and these looks are oh my gosh i really like it i really really enjoyed it and and so yeah you guys and so yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said follow me on my social media i have it again right up here and also down in the description box i will have a lot more uh, things so that you guys can follow me on don't forget and don't forget before you leave to subscribe down below and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye